buy lowering springs. This was terrible. This is stupid. This was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. If we haven't said this 30 times, don't do this at home. Gels, yeah. we gotta lower the Crown Vic. I, mean, I know we do. Well, let's go. I mean, let's go. Come on. All right, Gels, so I know we're getting air for the Crown Vic, uh -huh. but I want to lower it sooner than that. I say we do it with zip ties. Like the, <laughs> like zip tie the coil springs? Yes. Like the Facebook post that was circulating around? Because this is just not acceptable. No, you're right. You can damn near fist test the fitment. So, so I think real quick, we run to like AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something. We run and get a spring compressor. We get some industrial strength zip ties and we slam this on its nuts. Let's roll, we need spring compressors. Oh. All right, I suppose this is probably the part of the video where we put a disclaimer of don't do this if for some reason you were thinking about it. Hey, maybe also ride with a seatbelt on. We've seen it on the internet, we've seen the memes, we've seen the pictures. I wanna see if it works. And what better way to test it than on a Crown Vic? Holy sh we were in this thing. When that zip tied, don't be hitting the and driveway entrances like that. Can you ask them if they have <laughs> zip ties to lower a car? Yeah, we can go to Home Depot. Oh, they'd have some big ones, huh? Yeah, but we need to get the spring compressor yeah. from here. Yeah. yeah, I don't see anything like super wide or anything. All these ones are- I like, see something super wide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to Home Depot. But if you guys didn't know, a little life hack for you. I didn't know this when I was 16 and it could have saved me some time, but uh, you can go to like AutoZone, O'Reilly, stores like that, and you can rent tools and it doesn't cost anything. Like right. you'll put a deposit down, um, so that way if you break it or you're degenerate and you steal it, they <laughs> don't lose their ass. Right. But when you return it, you get your money back. So like, we, we didn't have a spring compressor on hand, so you just drive over here, grab mm -hmm. one quick, and then when we're done with it, we'll return it, and then bada bing, bada boom, car slammed on zip ties. Boom. Welcome to the zip tie store. Or as my dad would call it, La Hondipo. <laughs> Dude, whoa! Did anyone have any idea? That they, what do you zip tie with this? F Godzilla? I swear I've seen ones that are like girthy. Yeah. Cause it's not necessarily about the length, it's about the girth. Is this their whole, like, I'm honestly a little bit let down. I thought really? there was going to be a lot more. No. Yeah. Dude, I swear. Well, okay, this was nice. This was a nice touch. Like, what about this? Is that the same? 500 pack. Yeah, those are the same. We hungry in this bitch. Give me some food, Papa Gels. <laughs> oh, f yeah, the burger vault. That reminds you of that SpongeBob episode where Squidward goes in and he gets as thick as me. And then he blows up. Eat your tomato. You're an adult. No. <laughs> You're dipping it in tomato. I only eat tomato smoothies. <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't know, we have Swaco's oh, M2 casually here. Uh, right here. Oh, where? Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so we're gonna be uh, doing some stuff to this car fairly soon. So you just want to stay tuned for that one because Swaco's like, hey, I like cars, you guys like cars, let's do something together. And we're like, okay. Edgar, what you doing? Um, let me see. I wanted to test these zip ties out. Are they working? They're, they're hella working, Charles. <laughs> I don't know, have you guys seen this thing? <laughs> they saw it in driver to driver. Yeah, but, but here's the front of it, and there's the rest. The rest. <laughs> How Vic stuff. Like what? We're gonna... <laughs> We're gonna zip tie the suspension so we can lower it before we put the air in. Do you think we can zip tie it by just taking the wheels off, compressing the springs while they're on the car? Yeah, if you put okay. as much people as you can on the hood. Yeah. Well, wait, how do I get to the strut? Well, you gotta put something like, maybe a jack underneath the hub or something and then, yeah. okay. All right, so first things first, we wanna get our before measurements, see how much we can actually dump this thing by, so. Yeah, so we yeah. wanna, the goal is to not have that. I don't know how low we'll be able to get it, but let's see. Literally right at 27 inches. 27? Yep. 
I pulled up my notes on my phone because I'll forget in two seconds. 26 and a half in the rear. 26, 27 front, 26 and a half in the rear. She's squatting. She's squatting. 26 and a half in the rear, so yeah, it's, it's squatting. Jesus Christ, brother. The no, top of the realistically, car, how that's much what do you I think wanna, we I want to take a bet. I always I'm fucking bet. I'm going to say we can get it down half inch. Half inch is what I'm Oh, I'm going to say an inch. An inch? Look at this. All right. You getting this? <laughs> you know. Corey, how much do you think we can lower this with zip ties? He just rolls in on a longboard I'd drinking a truly. Inch and a half at least. See? Really? Yeah, I say inch. Joe says half inch. No, inch and a half. I'm saying inch and a quarter. That's huge, I honestly. Like, that is, that's big, right? Like, over average. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, brother. Plot twist. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. We were going to use the spring compressor, but we don't feel like taking the strut out if we don't have to right now. Um, so this ain't gonna fit in here because we didn't look at the strut beforehand. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower the car, put these blocks of wood on, has some big old boys like me and Joel sit on the front while it's compressed, zip tie the shit out of the coils on the spring. So we didn't even need these, but we didn't pay for them either. So it doesn't really matter. It was more of like we got out of work for like an hour. <laughs> Wait, no, that's you, why we have the wheels What are you on? trying to do right I'm going to stand now. right here and Joel's going to sit here. So yeah. we compress this as much as possible. It's science, Sam. <laughs> It's not gonna work. I knew my weight would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> what if they blow up? It's all gonna break. Okay, hey, so it's been kind of a wild 20 minutes of figuring out what the hell to do because we couldn't get the spring compressor on. So we just stood on it and we're like, this is dumb. We should get the spring compressor on. But Corey's like, what? it's too compressed somehow to get the spring compressor. On. So we're gonna stand up, but it's got like 30 zip ties on it already. They might go poop, So poop, they poop, might poop, just poop, 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 explode. Corey, I don't know where they were on. Hey, get on the video. Get your over here right now it's important but yeah, this feels a lot less awkward <laughs> no, no it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost like the titanic <laughs> Last zip tie. Oh, hey, Sam. Do you really think it? Hey, this works. Really? Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. No, did they no. A bunch of them pop. Oh, no. Corey. No. Why can't we even do dumb right? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we were able to get the compressors on the rear spray and compress nice and tight. We're going to throw some zip ties around it. We're actually getting somewhere in the rear here. It's compressed hella. We got probably about 50 zip ties on here. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done to a vehicle. Not gonna lie. And I've owned a neon. Go to zip tied my ankle really tight, and there's no f players to get it off, and I'm losing circulation of my foot. What the f <laughs> Don't make them laugh. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Hey, you're next, Mike. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> In theory, the zip tie should hold them, so this should come right off. Yeah, I would do just a little bit on each side at a time. Is that on the ground? Yeah, well, the tire's touching. I don't even look any lower. Really? Really. I don't get it. It's the same. I think it's because it's solid rear axle. That spring's probably kind of sitting in there loose, actually. Good. All right, so Gels is going to continue working on this thing, but I'm over it. So what we got to do is we actually have to go over to our warehouse because Swaco is getting some wheels mounted and I ain't missing that. Gels is going to keep working on the crown zip and zip tying the out of it. We're going to head over to the warehouse. Let's go. Hey, yo, we're at the warehouse, baby. Ever seen this thing? It's big as shit. What you guys can't pick up is just the super strong smell of rubber. God, it smell like a condom factory. All right, so I had a message saying that the wheels and tires were here at our warehouse, but they're not. They're back at the market building where we just were, but apparently I didn't see them. They were back in our storage thing. So we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and get them mounted, which is whatever. We had to make some content here anyways. We we're gonna talk about all of our inventory that we got because we got a ton of it. And then also, we're picking up some T37s that are here and we're gonna bring them back to the marketing warehouse so we can do some cool shit with them. So it's not a complete failure, but we'll do some movie magic and you'll probably see the wheels and tires getting mounted.
work. <laughs> We have a spring compressor. Where? On the wall. Huh. Oh. <laughs> now what? I don't know. How does that thing work? <laughs> oh, that thing looks a lot easier. It looks like you just wedge it and compress it. Should we just... <laughs> right? I wish we knew about this. Have fun sticking your fingers in there to zip tie it. Feels stiffer. I'm sure it's not. Make it, make it from us just by lowering springs. This would be terrible. Yeah, but we got a horrible yeah, experience. Make sure everything's settled first. Yeah, there you go. Just it will settle a little springs. bit too, but. All right, so first impressions are it feels different. <laughs> Honestly, you can, like, the spring rate is stiffer. I think we just, like, took all the preload out of the springs. I think that's all that happened. Yeah. I don't think we lowered it. I Almost think it is a little bit lower. I think it is. Okay. Lower. We'll have to remeasure it because, yeah, initially right off the lift it wasn't, but like seeing the rears in the back, the fronts looked about, dude, it totally feels oh, yeah. different though. It's so stiff. <laughs> because, yeah, initially it was really like yeah, lofty. Like, like, yeah. right, so, so this is the real test. This is, yeah, this road gets sh as f I know you guys all have that one road in your town or maybe it's just all of them and they're sh Go for them. Oh, it, like hit them specifically. Okay. Here's a real test. Right. <laughs> oh, <God>. Hey, yo! <laughs> <laughs> zip ties a great idea you're an idiot but not too much of an idiot because it handles amazing now we effectively changed the spring rates without lowering the car whatsoever so i feel pretty stupid but at the same time i don't know it's kind of fun to handle really good in the grass so if that's what you're looking to do don't do it still but we did get some air suspension that's what we're actually going to be putting in this thing so that'll be dope this is stupid this was dumbest thing i've ever done in my life don't forget wheels tire suspension no zip ties at fitmentindustries.com